But I've taken personal responsibility for my health, saying it's my fault that I'm sick. It's nobody else's fault. I didn't know the food that I was eating was rubbish. But it was still my responsibility to, to read about that and to learn. So just, just before I start on my journey, I'll just summarize. I didn't really point out for the myasthenia my gravis, they, they have uh, issues, like I said, with the thymus gland. And often the thymus gland is enlarged, which they call hyperplasia, or you can have a growth or a tumor on your thymus gland, which I have, which is a thymoma. So that was confirmed by a, a CT scan. And then typically, like I said, they, they want to remove that thymus gland so they can stop the reaction. Once again, I've turned that one down because what I've read in natural health circles, if you remove the thymus gland, you will struggle to have a full, full uh, or complete natural recovery. So in the interim, I do struggle with symptoms. I do have a tumor in my chest, but I think in the long run, if, if you bear with me, I'll explain my, my crazy health ideas. I will be able to sort out that tumor and hopefully have a full, full term recovery instead of a medium term possible improvement if you take out the thymus gland. And the reason I say medium term possible is the st statistics show that one in three people that have their thymus removed will have that, that full recovery in the medium term but will often deteriorate and the other two thirds are left with no change or they might deteriorate. So a 33% chance to possibly get better for medium term just didn't sound like a worthwhile risk for me to take that one out. And then we, we get on to my personal journey um, and this was about where I started to really investigate health and take responsibility for myself and why, why am I unhealthy. And the picture on the right hand side there was just a thing that started it for me. I first thought it was quite a cool picture, you know, see how you can pile your medication and pass that on to social media. And it was, it was shocking for everybody. My mom still gets the, the, shr the, scroll, the shrills when she sees that picture. But that was the picture that kicked me into action saying, I don't want to take that medication. That was two months supply. I don't want to be taking that medication for the rest of my life. So yeah, that's where, I, that's where I started. And when I worked at the restaurant, uh, there was a lady that bought me a book called Go Natural. And it's about a South African guy who had multiple sclerosis and he cured himself through diet and eating healthy. So that was the first step for me and where I started thinking maybe it was possible for me to overcome this incurable autoimmune disease. So the first thing I did was I cut out all the junk from my diet as soon as I started taking the medication. It was almost, it was cold turkey. I decided no more sugar, no more treats. Yeah, I just said no more, no more rubbish. If I'm gonna take this medication, I'm gonna take it seriously and I'm gonna try to get off the medication as soon as I can. So I started researching from there and basically every day since September last year, um, I, I get onto the internet and I read as much as I can. It's really opened my eyes to the, the education or self-education that is available out there on the internet and the possibilities that you can actually teach yourself anything that you want to, want to know. You don't need a degree or a diploma or anything to say you're an expert in that field. If you, if you are passionate about it, you can get on the internet or get a book and read about it. Before that, actually, I, n I never read much at all. My mom probably tried to push me to read a bit more, but there was nothing that really grabbed my attention. Like my dad pointed out, I really enjoy sport as well, so I'd read a couple of sports biographies, but I didn't enjoy reading novels or anything like that. So it's quite astounding that since I got diagnosed, I've read about five different health books, besides, like I said, the copious amounts of internet articles that I continuously read daily. Um, it was yeah, driven by that desire just to keep understanding, just to keep, keep learning and keep improving. And 
from there, I just kept refining my diet. Obviously, I didn't instantly know on day one what I wanted to do. I never thought I could go gluten-free or cut certain things out my diet. So it was, it was a cold turkey, cut out the junk, but it's always been a refining process of yeah, just, just making sure that I keep learning and keep improving my diet. And from that stage, I started coping fine. I basically, where I am now, I have eye problems, but I can still function in society. I carried on working, carried on making money. I just struggled with fatigue and things like that, but could still function normally on a healthy diet. We can go to the next one, thanks. So that, after that phase, what I term phase two deterioration, which is quite sad actually, because I was on such a healthy diet, um, but I, I kept getting worse, I kept getting worse. So you can see in these pictures, the bottom left hand side one is with my brother on my birthday last year. And on that day, I really struggled. I, I couldn't talk, I couldn't chew my food. I had 10 friends and I went out for dinner and I couldn't converse with anybody over dinner. It was, yeah, it was really sad and sort of emotional because somebody would ask you a question because it's your birthday but you would have to try and mouth, uh, I'll get back to you later kind of thing because I can't answer the question. So yeah, those are the two images. And then the one on the right is just showing how thin I got with the hypothyroidism. I dropped down to about 55 kilograms. So I was quite severely underweight at that stage. I think my body mass index was about 15. So very, very low. We can move on to the next one. Those are just a picture of the books that I used. Uh, the one at the top being Sally Ann Creed's Let Food Be Your Medicine. The one in the middle at the bottom is Go Natural, like I said, from Somerset West, the gentleman that had multiple sclerosis. Uh, and then just ones about gut healing, optimal nutrition, and then a book on myasthenia gravis, which is just basic information that I, that I used a bit. I can pass on to the next one, thanks. So health, for me, uh, incorporates a whole lot of different aspects. Diet, what I thought was the main focus, I'll move on to that one separately. But a lot of it started with mental attitude or how I approached the situation for me personally. Um, I decided, and it wasn't always the case, it's more been this year or the last couple of months, that I've taken personal responsibility for my health, saying it's my fault that I'm sick, it's nobody else's fault. Yes, there might be some bad genetics, but that will only be 5% to a maximum. Every other reason why I got sick is my own fault. I didn't know that Coke was bad or that bad. I didn't know the food that I was eating was rubbish. But it was still my responsibility to, to read about that and to learn. So I'm, my philosophy now is that I have to take personal responsibility for my health and personal responsibility for everything that I put into my body. Sleep has been a huge thing for me as well. It's been one of the reasons why I've sort of recovered to this stage so far is the fact that I've been able to sleep properly for once where before I really struggled with getting to bed before two o'clock. So sort of insomnia symptoms, but never, never felt fully rested even if I slept a day. Now I can get a good eight hours sleep and I actually have the energy to do something. So sleep has been key for me. Stress is still a problem. Obviously this morning is a bit stressful for me to come out and talk to people. I haven't done this probably since my trick when I did a bit of public speaking. Uh, so that's quite a while ago. And stress are just in general with varsity and exams. I still struggle a lot with that. Exercise is a part that I'm still trying to develop and that's what I want to push on now once I start gaining more energy. Unfortunately, I'm being limited with my muscles. I haven't done as much exercise as I would like to do. Products, what I, what I term products there are toiletries and uh, household cleaning products. And that's one thing I say, there's a lot of toxicity in those products and people don't understand the dangers of them. So that's something that I say people need to change as well. Water seems simple, but yeah, the, the amount of uh, elements that are in our water that we're drinking daily is, is not healthy for anybody. So I've gone through different processes of distilled water, reverse osmosis water, or just filtered tap water. 
and uh, for different for different reasons there'll be different advantages for using those particular waters at any given time. Supplements has been the key part for the, the current recovery with my diet at the moment. I spend a lot of time researching why I want to put certain elements into my body and which, which vitamins are going to help me stabilize my body. I can talk to you about supplements and diet for a very long time, so I'm just going to move on and I'll see if we, we come back to that if I have enough time. So we can move on to the next one. So diets, uh, basically starting out with, I try to simplify it as much as possible. Uh, I don't think I'm on a strict diet, but some people would say it's very strict. For me, it's basically I eat a meat, a meat and veg diet. I try to keep it as simple as possible, as natural as possible. Uh, I don't really do a lot of gluten-free replacement products because it's not for me a natural product store. Um, I haven't, just to point out, it's not that it's super important, but I haven't had alcohol this whole year. I think the last time was New Year's Eve, and that seemed to make a big difference in reducing inflammation and symptoms in my body. So that's another interesting one to point out, along with the sugar as well. Sugar, very inflammatory, and people don't understand how bad sugar is for you. And I probably made myself sick drinking a bit too much Coke. My mom will confirm that one as well. Coke was the one that made me sick. We can move on to the next one. Um, Currently, just to, just to point out where I am and what processes I'm doing at the moment, what's led to my greatest improvement for myself at the moment is the, the heavy metal chelation I'm doing at the moment. Not really well known to many people either, but currently you'd say a huge percentage of the world population is struggling with heavy metal toxicity. The main cause for heavy metal toxicity comes from your, your dental fillings, unfortunately, and that's more the, what I say, previous generation. So I don't actually have any dental fillings myself, but I've, I've got a huge heavy metal toxicity problem. Uh, basically, heavy metal chelation involves a process of sucking out those six heavy metals and replacing them with useful uh, elements that the body needs or trace minerals that the body needs. So your main ones there the heavy metals that you're trying to remove are copper, lead, nickel, cadmium, arsenic, and lead. Um, yeah, from that, I'm trying to sort out the candida problem that I have, which is a, a bad bacteria overgrowth in the gut, which I believe is a, ma a major cause for leaky gut, and which starts off all your autoimmune reactions not really understood by conventional medicine roots but for me this is the the key part of why i'm sick is that that gut problem starting with the candida but the candida grows in response to the heavy metal toxicity so basically for me i figured out only quite recently that all the problems are starting with heavy metal toxicity so we can move on to the next one Basically, I've just put out recently what, what are some goals that I want to achieve with my life. It's quite ironic or quite funny when you tell somebody that they physically cannot do a push-up anymore, that they decide that the most important thing for me is, is going to be able to do that push-up again. It's what I want to, want to dedicate my life to, and it's what I want to do. I've decided that yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to get cured from, from these two diseases through natural means. I'm going to avoid medication and uh, operations as far as I can. And I want to achieve certain physical goals. My dad maybe said my golf was a bit better than, than I thought it was. I've never broken 80 before, but one of my goals is I want to break 80 on the golf course. Uh, at the moment, I can't walk 18 holes. I'd say I wouldn't be able to get, break 100, but I'm going to break 80. Uh, the middle photo, Rich Froning, is one of my inspirations, uh, termed the, the fittest man on earth. And one of the, one of the movements I want to do, my mom will probably have a heart attack once again, is Olympic lifting. I want to snatch 80 kilograms. At the moment, I only weigh about 70 kilograms. I can't lift 20 kilograms, I'd say, but I want to put 80 kilograms above my head. And that's you know, one of the goals that I want to do. And 
mm -hmm. the last goal is also quite crazy for me because I've been so thin and like I said down to 55 kilograms I want to physically get back into some good shape and I want to weigh 80 kilograms as well so that's quite for me an exciting goal after that I want to I want to coach people or be some sort of life coach nutrition nutrition not expert but just guide people through basic nutrition and just teach people what I've learned so that hopefully they don't fall into the same mistakes and just to finish off if anybody's interested I've started a blog but hopefully I'll get more active in, in social media now when I, I make this my focus so my blog is myasthenianatural.wordpress.com but you could probably just google myasthenia gravis natural and take it from there and I, I changed my Instagram handle last night to to at MG athlete because I decided if I want to be that athlete it starts today whether I can do that push-up or not yet I'm on a journey I'm on a process to improving myself so I want to be a, an MG athlete to the best capacity that I can be so that's it